Griffin Poetry Prize 2004. Judges Citation. Anne Simpson. The Twin Towers Collapsing in New York. A plane spiraling down into the sea. A suicide's fatal leap. Even a flying carpet riding on the wing of darkness. Such images of falling recur in Anne Simpson's poetry with disturbing frequency. But, as if to catch the fragments from these, scenes of fracture, ellipses, loops, skeins, and joinings, and the planets on their rounds also make appearances. Many poems are composed in sequences. A breathtaking demonstration of a Mobius strip glides across the middle of ten beautiful pages of loop. A down-to-earth series, The Trailer Park, juxtaposes a mundane world of low-rent lives, family squabbles, and love-making against the struggles of great astronomers who helped domesticate the skies. A troubled and generous spirit pervades and inspires Simpson's achievement of craft and lyric in these poems. Uh, in the town where I live, in Antigonish, um, there's a trailer park called Widdens, in right smack dab in the middle of town. And uh, to get to my house, I often, in the summertime, just trespass through. And there's a big sign by the laundry saying, Sydney is so many miles, New Glasgow is so many, Halifax is so many miles. And uh, for the sake of the poem, I changed it to Paris and Jerusalem and San Francisco. But really, if you go there, you have to look at that sign. Um, and there are various characters in this long poem. There's an old man who comes from Texas every year. And uh, there are lovers who set up a tent. Near the bridge in the trailer park, a man sets up a tent fumbling in the dark. A woman unrolls the sleeping bag. They unzip, shed themselves, a loosening shrug, step inside each other, breath fingering blind, quick, body shudders, stuns with its liquid, its cool. They step back out, it's very still, breath, after breath, one thing draws another. Gently, so gently, he puts his head against her ribs, opening a shutter in her skin to look inside. Cathedrals of space, wandering planets, aisle upon aisle of stars. She summons all that's there. There's, there's no award that I know of quite like this one, where we're all, all the finalists are made to feel so much at home and so comfortable. And, you know, you really feel like you're all taking part in it rather than being up in competition. I just think Scott Griffin is a wonderful man. I can't believe he's done this. And, and uh, it will continue, you know, for, for years and years. So it will do, it's only beginning its work in Canada and, and abroad. Yeah. It's just the start.